Hello and welcome to our video on horse adaptation. Horses are one of the most magnificent and beloved animals that have been domesticated by humans for centuries. Their beauty, speed, and strength have made them an essential part of human history and culture. But did you know that horses have also evolved unique adaptations to survive in the natural environments? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also share this video to people who are interested in horses. In this video, we will explore the incredible adaptations of horses, including their physical features, behaviors, and diet. From the powerful legs to their social structures, horses have developed a range of incredible adaptations that enable them to thrive in various habitats and climates around the world. By the end of this video, you will have a deeper appreciation and understanding of these amazing animals and their incredible abilities to adapt and survive in the wild. So, let's saddle up and discover the world of horse adaptation. Horse Scientific Classification Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata Class Mammalia Order Perisodactyla Family Equidae Genus Equus Scientific name, Equus caballus. Habitat. These creatures thrive in a variety of settings and climates. Domestic horses can live practically any place as long as they have food, housing, and room to run. Some of them, like North American Mustangs, are still wild. These animals can be found freely and contentedly roaming the prairies and plains of Western North America. These creatures are herbivores, which means they consume a lot of vegetation, such as grass and hay. Grass is the most common food they eat, and it helps keep the digestive system operating smoothly. In the cooler months, when grass is scarce in meadows, hay is the most common replacement. Fruits and vegetables, such as cut up apples and carrots, are other favorites of these creatures. Salt, whether in the shape of a lick or a block, is also a tasty treat. A well-rounded equine diet will include a variety of these foods. Predators and threats. The shelter of their houses protects domestic horses. They are particularly vulnerable in the wild to attacks by large animals. Large cats or wolves are the most dangerous to elderly, young, or ailing animals. These animals will bite and kick to defend themselves. Reproduction, babies, and lifespan. These animals have polygynous mating arrangements in the wild. During the mating season, one adult male, or stallion, would lead a group of adult females, or mares. Stallions defend their mares from other males in the area in an intense process akin to deer species rutting. Domestic horses, on the other hand, are bred more selectively. This form of artificial selection has resulted in the modern horse's many distinct breeds, sizes, uses, and colors. An unborn foal is carried by its mother for around 11 months. A foal is a baby that has not yet been weaned and can normally stand and run shortly after birth. A young girl is termed as when it has been weaned from its mother. The horse, like other grazing herbivores, possesses typical plant-eating adaptations, such as a set of powerful, high-crowned teeth for grinding grasses and other tough vegetation and a somewhat long digestive tract, the majority of which is gut involved with digesting cellulose materials from vegetation. Domesticated horses may live in practically any environment, while wild horses prefer plains, prairies, and steppes for a variety of reasons. Horses require broad open places for defense and some form of protection, such as trees or cliffs, to protect them from the elements. The physical adaptation of horse. The physical qualities of the horse enable it to survive in the wild, adapt to life on the farm, ranch, and racecourse, and work with and for people in a range of activities. These features are as follows. Its capacity to see danger is enhanced by large, wide set eyes located high on the skull for peripheral vision down the length of its body and a small field of binocular vision in front of its head. Its long legs enable it to flee predators. While grazing in short grass in open spaces, its extended head enables for a large range of vision. Because of its remarkable ability to lock its back leg joints, it can sleep standing up and be ready to run if awakened. Swiveling ears allow it, 
it can pinpoint sound thanks to swiveling ears. A keen sense of smell aids in the identification of predators. Teeth are ideal for cutting and crushing tough plants. As they wear down from chewing coarse plant matter, the grinding teeth continue to emerge from the jaw. Predators and herd rivals with their hooves and teeth. A cellulose digesting stomach. A tail and sensitive skin that aid in the removal of bug infestations. What makes horse eyes unique? The horse's eye position in the skull allows for a vast, nearly 360 degrees field of vision, roughly 146 degrees of monocular vision on either side and approximately 65 degrees to 80 degrees of binocular vision ahead of them. The horse's two blind spots are just behind the tail and directly in front of their head. Horses have optical characteristics that allow them to see in low light conditions. They have more rod photoreceptors, cells that help you see at night, and larger pupils than humans. Horses have a unique visual adaptation known as the tapetum lucidum. The eyes of a horse are protected not only by the same types of eyelids that people have, but also by the nictitating membrane, which is sometimes called the third eyelid. This additional eyelid is a whitish-pink color, and it is found under the other eyelids in the inside corner of the eye. A horse's eyes are located on either side of his head giving him a wide circular view. This is an advantage for a prey animal needing early warning of predators. This panoramic vision is monocular, which enables them to view their surroundings on both sides, with either eye. Horse hooves are astonishingly intricate. Each hoof is a toe with an outer covering of specialized hairs that bind together to form a hard pad that protects the digits softer inner half. The hoof wall, like human hair, fingernails, and rhino horns, has no feeling and grows throughout the animal's life. The ankle of the horse is the fetlock joint above the hoof. The foot, which extends from the hoof wall to the fetlock joint, contains bones, cartilage, tissues, and tendons that absorb the shock of a pounding gait, aid in blood circulation in the lower limbs, maintain foot health, and give support. The hoof is really the third middle of the horse's five toes. It not only bears the animal's weight, but it also allows the animal to fully stretch its limbs while sprinting. The first, second, fourth, and fifth toes are still present, but they have reduced in size and serve no role. Did you know, hoofed animals are classified into two groups by biologists, those with an even number of toes on each foot cattle, sheep, deer, antelope, bison, and so on, and those with an odd number of toes on each foot horses, donkeys, zebras, tapirs, and rhinoceroses. Migration, hibernation, learning behavior, changes in reproductive mode, changing food habits, and distinct means of communication are all examples of behavioral adaptation. What are the behavioral adaptations of a horse? They may sleep while standing, an adaption from the natural lives as prey animals. When an animal lies down, it becomes more exposed to predators. Horses can sleep standing up because their legs have a stay apparatus that allows them to relax their muscles and doze without collapsing. Horses are gregarious animals who love the company of other horses. They enjoy activities such as playing and grooming each other. They also train their senses by smelling one another and their environment. Horses graze in the wild and use their senses of smell, sight, and hearing to keep safe and find food. Horses that live together communicate mostly through body language. To communicate, horses have developed both subtle and obvious signals. Horses that live in herds have various advantages, including the ability to take turns watching for predators and having more sets of eyes and hearing to detect them. Horses left alone are more likely to experience stress owing to a lack of companionship. Horses are naturally reactive creatures that will flee at the first sight of danger. This habit, however, may be overcome with adequate training to make horses and riders handlers safer. Remember that if a horse feels imprisoned, it may turn to kicking, hitting, or biting if it cannot escape. When handling a horse, try to interpret its body language and avoid putting too much pressure on the animal. Ponies. Ponies are friendly, cunning, and occasionally stubborn. Ponies are little horses with a distinct body type. They stand less than 58 inches at the withers, 
have thicker coats, manes, and tails, heavier bones, larger necks, and shorter heads than horses. They are tough and sure-footed, and they can be sociable, stubborn, or cunning. Pony breeds evolved on the outside of horse-friendly areas. The Shetland Pony, for example, originated in the Shetland Islands, a remote group of islands north of Scotland, and the Connemara is indigenous to a harsh region in Western Ireland. Other pony breeds include four different types of Welsh ponies, Caspian ponies from the Middle East, English Dartmoors, and the Pony of the Americas. Colors and Patterns of Horses Early domestic horses were predominantly done in color, with stocky bodies, broad necks, and short, stiff manes. Domestication resulted in mutations that resulted in new patterns and colors. Horses today are white, gray, cream, golden, red, brown, dun, and black, among other hues. They can be solid color with a matching or contrasting mane and tail, and they can have white markings on their faces and lower legs. They can be pinto, paint patches of color on a white background or splashes of white on a colored background or spotted. Several horse breeds possess pinto pattern genes, but only pintos with at least one parent registered with the American Paint Horse Association and one parent registered with the National Paint Horse Association do. Several breeds also exhibit the Palomino variety of chestnut, a genetic trait that dilutes the strength of the red color. Palomino horses are gold in color with a light mane and tail. They can be quarter horses, Tennessee walking horses, Morgan horses, or saddlebreds. Palominos are registered with the Palomino Horse Association and the Palomino Horse Breeders of America. 10 Fun Facts About Horses Anyone who has ever interacted with a horse understands that they are amazing creatures. Horses have been a part of our life for thousands of years, serving as companions, working animals, and equestrian sports, to mention a few. Despite the fact that horses are well-known animals, the following facts may surprise you. 1. Horses are unable to breathe through their mouths. Horses must breathe via their noses. This implies they can't breathe via their mouths like humans. Horses can breathe only through their noses. 2. Horses can sleep while standing. Horses have a stay apparatus, which is a system of tendons and ligaments that allows the horse to lock its legs in place so that it can relax without falling over. Horses use this contraption to relax while standing for long periods of time when they are not sleeping. This permits them to conserve energy when standing, allowing them to take flight if necessary. It is a fallacy that horses never sleep. Yet, they do sleep for a short period of time each day. Horses sleep about two and a half hours each day on average. 3. Horses have amazing hearing abilities. Horses, like prey animals, require acute hearing to survive. Human ears are controlled by three muscles, however horses have 10. Horses can rotate their ears approximately 180 degrees and move them independently of one another as a result of this. Horses that can rotate their ears can hear sounds all around them without having to turn their heads. 4. Horses have a roughly 360-degree visual field. This is because their eyes are on the sides of their heads. They do, however, have two blind spots, one directly behind them and one right in front of their skull. This means they can't see the grass they're grazing on or the carrot you're offering them. They will instead move their heads or utilize their mobile and sensitive lips, whiskers, and sense of smell to determine what is in front of them. 5. Horses have extremely quick reflexes. Horses, as prey animals, must react swiftly in the event of a flight or fight situation. Horses can go from standing motionless to delivering a hard kick in 0.3 seconds when fighting, whereas humans take 1.6 seconds. 6. Foals can walk and run as soon as they are born. From birth, foals are relatively mature and mobile. Because foals are most vulnerable to predators after birth, they must be able to flee if required. 7. Horses are extremely intelligent creatures. They, like dogs, may be taught a variety of tasks through positive reinforcement and clicker training. One study found that horses may convey their wants to the guardians by tapping symbols on a board, 
These horses learned to communicate whether they wanted a blanket on or off by pressing symbols on a board. 8. Horses come in a variety of colors and patterns. Horses can be speckled, have patches of color, or have a solid color with contrasting colors on their face or legs. Every one of these horse colors has its own name. Horses, like dogs, have different colors depending on their breed. 9. The horse's earliest ancestor is said to have lived 55 million years ago. This ancestor was little bigger than a Labrador retriever. Horses were domesticated roughly 6,000 years ago, according to archaeological data. 10. Horses are extremely gregarious creatures. Horses find safety in herds and build deep social bonds with one another. They use their senses to identify known horses and spend time with those with whom they have developed friendships. One horse will stand guard in the herd to keep an eye on things. Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like to this video.